Hi, I thought I'd take uh, some time out from my busy schedule of pouring rubber masks to tell you about these masks. I don't think I've ever discussed it before. Did I say disgust? No, disgust. And uh, I thought I'd show them to you. And, and you know, since I have well over 4,000 subscribers now on YouTube, there's probably a lot of you people out of those 4,000 people that don't realize that I make masks. And I thought I'd take time to show them to you. These masks, of course, are available on our website. Yeah, that one right there. I've told you about it before, but if you look at that complicated menu and read each one, you'll see there's a collector's mask store and a prop store and different things. And then you click on it, it'll take you right to the page. And there's even PayPal buttons there. Uh, all these masks I make myself by hand, which is why I look the way I do right now. Um, this one is from The Outer Limits. The episode was called The Chameleon and it starred Robert Duvall, one of his early early jobs where he was turned into an alien to uh, get on board a ship of aliens to find out why they were crashed in our forest and if they were a threat or not. It was a great episode. This one here is from the Galaxy Being. Um, I talked about it in today's show, but basically this was the first episode. It was incredible. It was so good. Uh, it was such a great series and of course the actual mass was painted a very dark color and they put glycerin all over it so it was very shiny and they lit it with all these spotlights which made it have all these little black dots because what they did is they printed the footage of him as a negative. That's why the mass was glass and uh, black and shiny and glassy. Um, and then when they reversed it, it looked like this except glowing. It was brilliant. And this one, <laughs> is the Ebonite from the episode Nightmare with Martin Sheen. A lot of big name actors got their start working in Twilight Zone and Outer Limits. Two hallmark shows, if you've never seen them. This was what David McCallan was in another episode of the Outer Limits called The Six Finger. And John Chambers did a series of stages of makeups where he gets evolved into a man of the future. Really great episode, he grows a six finger, that's the name. This one here is Assault Vampire from the original Star Trek series, Star Trek, uh, back in the 60s, and uh, who's affectionately named Nancy. This is Balok, also from Star Trek, and uh, I believe that was the Corbinite maneuver, wasn't it? You're gonna correct me, I know you are. But the mask is really cool, and I made it to be exactly like the original. And both of these, I worked very closely with Wa Chang's original sculptures and photographs uh, to get them as close and accurate to the original mask. The mask, all of these masks were done very, very quickly. Some of these were done by Chambers. Some of them were done by Wa Chang. He was a brilliant artist. He also created the phaser and communicator, a lot of other cool stuff for Star Trek. But these two were he did for Star Trek, and um, I even made them rough the way the originals were. Uh, I know the other ones have been made since, and they're all clean and perfect, and they just don't look like the same thing that was in the actual TV show, and that's why these do. This is from a TV show I worked on extensively called Sightings back in the 90s. Yeah, 90s. And this was the gray alien mask that they wore. Uh, and you can actually see through these. These are tinted and these are the masks that are actually used in that show and a lot of those shows and magazine covers and these, these, these things were a whole bunch of movies and TV shows. I kept selling them. We have Deadpool down here. Uh, I wanted a Deadpool mask for myself. Uh, so I made this up, but uh, uh, I do offer them if you want a latex Deadpool mask. Um, down here, I also offer these. This is from Outer Limits, and uh, it's a half face mask, but this is what they, you know, they had a foam rubber prosthetic. Uh, this is latex, which will last a lot longer, um, that was put on the face for that classic show. This is uh, the communion bust from Whitley Strieber's classic communion book, the book cover. I have, uh, he was giving me permission to uh, produce these. Um, I also have uh, a half face Planet of the Apes mask. I worked on the original TV series for a while, and you can put this mask on and wear it uh, half face. Uh, this mask here is Henry Hall from The Werewolf of London, the 1930s movie. Um, and this one has been very, 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 very popular. This one I don't offer. Um, so those are the masks. Oh, oh, yes, I almost forgot, Mary. I offer also the Travis Walton 
being, as it was seen in his book, not in the movie where they changed everything to make it more Hollywood. We won't go into that. And also I offer Leonard Nimoy's Spock ears from the original molds uh, that I did back in 1978. For Star Trek The Motion Picture, and if Mary turns around there, you can see the original ears. We offer them in a shadow box that is uh, 185 format. No, no, you know, 169 format, sorry. Um, with the picture of Spock as he first walked onto the bridge wearing my ears and I sign and, and uh, date it and everything to you. And they're made out of very thick rubber from these molds so they'll last a really, really long time. So that's, that's what we have for the masks. Um, next week, I'll show you some of the other things we have here that we offer on our site. Hope you enjoyed that little trip down memory lane that you can put in your collection.